When you drop off your dry cleaning, usually it's just drop it off and you come back and pick it up in a couple of days. But what actually goes on in that time period that you're waiting for your stuff to be done. Well, today for our behind the scenes series, we're gonna stop out at Quality Cleaners here in downtown St. Cloud, and we're gonna show you what exactly goes in to making those clothes look perfect when you pick them up a few days later. For Mark Schobeck and his staff, quality is more than just a word on a sign. Been in business for 75 years and uh, just try to do a, a top-notch job. And their customers know that too. They've been using us for years and years, and, and a lot of them come in uh, even up to two or three times a week. Quality cleaners, launders, and dry cleans about 400 items a day, and it all starts with a ticket. After we tag them in at the front, then they, uh, they get sorted back here, sorted by starch preference on the shirts. After sorting, the shirts are then cleaned for stains and put through the wash. A lot of different things that we can launder back here that we don't have to dry clean that come cleaner in the laundry process. But items like suits use a special machine. You put the garments in just like you put them in a wash machine. They're cleaned and extracted in that machine and dried in that machine. Once all the items are washed, they are then moved to a pressing station for either shirts. It dries and steams and blows out the shirt all in one process. Or more delicate items. After the pants and suits and dresses and jackets and all that get done in the dry clean process, they come up and get steam pressed up in this area. Then the clothes are bagged hung on a conveyor belt, and awaiting pickup. Usually a two-day turnaround on, on most items. Chobik says a lot of loving hands go into this process, and as I mentioned, quality is more than just a word on a sign. Our people have been with us a long time and really care about what they do. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.